Islamist terror attack on motorway in Berlin. Prosecutors in Germany sus suspect a series of crashes that brought Berlin, a Berlin motorway to a standstill was an Islamist terror attack carried out by one 30-year-old man. Six people were injured, three of them severely so, when a motorist drove into a number of vehicles. Local media reported that a man later stopped that the man later stopped on the highway and pulled out a box on the roof of his car, claiming it had explosives inside. Specialists opened the box and found only tools. The man shouted, Allahu Akbar, aka God is great, as he got out of his car, according to local media. Police and prosecutors would not confirm claims that the shouts were made by the man. Detained by police, the man is now being investigated for attempted murder. Um, we haven't had these for a while, hey? Like, yeah. And Western, Western terrorist attacks have dropped significantly. Yeah, um, the, I mean, in the past couple of years, we definitely saw a serious ongoing pattern of vehicular jihad. And um, it was interesting to see this back in the news again. Yeah, Aaron is saying that they're so normalized that they're not, be, be, they, we barely hear about them. No, I think it's, 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 the fact, it's, it's the fact that there are actually a lot less of them. But what's actually happening a lot still that people don't pay attention to is that the terrorist, terrorist, Islamic terrorist attacks in islamic countries are are happening all the time like those are ha go ongoing like just because islamic terrorist attacks in western countries are not happening as often nearly as often as they used to uh that doesn't mean that you know islamic terrorist attack as a whole is in iraq you know in syria um in yemen and many uh, places is is uh, as an, in afghanistan oh my god i can't believe i didn't even lead with afghanistan in afghanistan um that's happening all the time right but nobody uh, people don't care about those apparently rivka you want to say something i wanted to say that um one of the reasons maybe uh that at the beginning of this whole covid crisis february march ISIS and some other fundamentalist groups actually issued a directive telling their some of their fighters and their jihadists either in the West to just kind of lay low or not to go to the West for a while during the, I mean, I remember seeing articles about that, things they had put on their website. So there was that in the beginning, the travel ban might be inhibiting people from as freely moving um as they had been before but um so yeah i think it's interesting because there haven't been too many in the west but to Ar armin's point yeah they've been ongoing and continuous the entire time in a lot of these other countries so uh ethan is saying does trump get any credit for the decline in islamic terror attacks in western world i i don't think so because if it was happening if it was still happening in non-US Western countries, but less in US countries, then we were like, oh, Trump must be doing something well if it's if it's a decl major decline in the US only. But because there's a major decline, actually, maybe you could say that Trump defeated ISIS so effectively that they have now less resources to fund it. You know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't... Does Trump get any credit for the defeat of ISIS? Yeah, I mean... It says the, decline of Islamic terrorist attacks. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, Western I guess... I, I guess you could... you could. Here's the thing. To, for, for Trump to get any credit, you have to compare that with how it would be if Trump was not president. Because ISIS was, like, for example, I, ISIS' uh, reign of terror was something that would have... Their, 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 their method was so self-destructive. They're kind of like the woke cult. Their method, there was, it was self-defeating in, uh, in, in principle that we knew it was going to come crashing down pretty soon, anyways. So, um, I don't know. It, it, for Trump to get any credit, we have to have like a A B analysis, and to be that is impossible to do. Like, here's what it would have with, with Trump. Here's what it would look like without Trump. Right? It's impossible for us to do that analysis but again isis was going to fall at some point anyways right um so i don't know so at answer ethan's question is i don't know um 
Ronald saying basically the evidence that only religious fundamentalism is, fundamentalism is enough to make a single individual perform a terrorist attack without any connection to bigger terrorists. It's a, well, I mean, you do um, the connection is what what ISIS did was uh, very effectively was to make that connection uh, much less direct than it needs to be. It's it was still a major source of inspiration, um, and without ISIS actually being a state now. Um, that source of inspiration is uh, much, much less than it was before, right? Um, I, Rifka. I think they learned a lot too, or incorporated a lot too, from the some of the terrorist attacks from Hamas, and uh, because it was this sort of using cars, using whatever you had around the house, you know, get kitchen knives out of the drawers that mm -hmm. was a big thing, and making it personal and making it not needing a cell, not needing anything other than this feeling of jihad, which was very much part of a lot of those Hamas uh, attacks and things like that. Just, so, just to be clear, I don't think, I, I'm not suggesting that uh, whatever, the underlying uh, forces and ideology and the grievances that made ISIS p possible, all of that is still there, right? So, um, just because ISIS as an organization was defeated, that doesn't mean that what led to ISIS is gone. So all, given that all of that is still there, you could have a rebranded version of ISIS coming back or something completely new uh, that is basically with the same motivation and sa same um, ideological motivation than ISIS. Uh, you know, that because nobody, you know, militarily they defeated ISIS, but ideologically, um, and also all the source of the grievances, they those things they haven't been get removed, right? So it's pretty fair to expect um, another monster being created from all of this at some point. And right? I think a lot of those fighters and a lot of some of those people who are carrying that ideology were carrying that ideology forward have sort of just melded back into either the general populace of the country or into some other, you know, rebel group or fighting element. And at some point they may, you know, come back out and come together and rebrand themselves in another way. But you see this constant, like almost diffusion kind of thing, you know, moving from an area of higher Islamic concentration to an area of lower, you know, continuously with a lot of these fundamentalists and these ISIS ish guys fighter guys jihadi guys okay news thank you for joining us subscribe to our channel hit the bell thingy if you haven't i don't know why what has what's holding you back okay if you haven't subscribed to our channel why haven't you subscribed to our channel explain that to us please like bell <laughs> and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because youtube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think is no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well. And share, share our videos because... You know, we do get demonetized, that's an obvious, on every one of our videos, so F that, but we don't care about that anymore. <laughs> but we also get deprioritized, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized, what does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right, and all that, you know, on, the, on people's homepages, and that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos 